Welcome to the exclusive series about making the all-new X12. My name is Alexander Hagberg and I'm excited to show you what it takes to develop, design and produce a completely new car here at the X-Ray factory. The X12 platform has been one of our most successful on-road cars, winning multiple world championship titles, European championship titles and Roar national titles. In recent years, we continue to refine and update small details of each car, making the X12 faster and more reliable, but with no major changes to the design concept. In 2019, it was X-Ray drivers Jason Cheng and Max Kuning from RC America who presented the idea of a simplified front end that was both efficient and more durable. I would probably say that these parts sparked the first idea to develop a completely new platform for 2021. Our goals were clear. We wanted to develop a car that was stronger, faster and easier to work on. We wanted to redesign the car to make it as tweak-free as possible. And finally, the new car needed to be suitable for a rear solid axle, the new trend in the 112 class. In the early stage, we ran a hybrid car with standard parts from a production kit and the prototype front end. Cheng and Kuning were running the car at most of the US races on high traction tracks, and I used the early prototype to win the 2020 Snowboard Nationals as well as the European Championship. The front end worked great, but we were concerned about the durability. It was time for our chief designer, Martin Hudi to step in and work on the all-new concept idea further. We brainstormed with Martin about some other new design ideas, and after a short time, he developed the completely redesigned platform. The first concept ideas were turned into physical samples with a 3D printer, so we could experience and feel the real product in hand and to see all the details in reality. In this early concept stage, we made the first prototypes of the side braces that Hupo and I used at the Euros to adjust the flex and to stiffen up the chassis. And we really liked how they worked. The side braces provided great flex options to quickly adapt the setup of the car for different conditions. Most of the development and testing was with the front end where we tested probably a dozen different single arm designs, looking for the best compromise between strength and flex. There was a lot of back-to-back -back comparison testing on the track until we found the design that we liked the best, and all the remaining designs went into the archives. Another part we tested that did not make the final design was an upper camber brace. This brace concept was supposed to adjust the camber by changing to different braces. But we did not like it because it raised the CG and the reliability was simply not there. To make the steering system more bulletproof, we came up with a unique design to integrate the camber directly into the kingpin. This idea would ensure no change to the camber setting after a crash. The first idea was to integrate this new kingpin into the standard steering block, which meant continuing to use a 3mm kingpin, but after several tests we wanted to try a larger kingpin and change to a 4mm size that also required new springs and a redesigned steering block and mold. As the car is almost completely new, we have redesigned probably 90% of the parts the only carryovers left from the previous cars are the rear axle, side tubes, steering linkages and body posts. Everything else is new. I would split the main improvements into three major sections as following. Number one, the all new front end is extremely rigid, reliable and creates enough grip to provide the necessary steering. Number two, the all new tweak free rear pod assembly and center pivot mounting system. Number three, the new chassis side braces with multi-flex settings. The 
Do you want to see more what's new on the X12? Follow us in the next video.